Hi, Sally here, and I am going to go over design space for those of you who might have gotten a Cricut recently and are not sure how to use this program. So let's dive in. So here I have the home screen open up. You need to download the um, program from Cricut.com. It's very easy. Open it up. If you don't have an account, um, I can't remember. It's been so long since I signed up. But anyway, you'll need to make sure you're signed in. Um, let me see if I'm not signed in. What happens? Let's sign out and see what happens. Okay, so you'll come here and then you'll sign in. And you put in your email. Okay, so here we are. So on this page, there is a lot of stuff. So you can search for something that you want to do. There's projects, there's images, there's community, which, you know, if you want to share what you're creating, you can. There's people you can follow and all that. Here's some um, things that they recommend for you. Um, featured images, social trending projects, recent community projects, and so on and so on and so on. But what I want to do first is just go to the canvas. So there's two ways you can do that. You can click this hamburger menu up here and click canvas or let's see. Anyway, or you can click new project, which is what I usually like to do. So it takes a minute to load the canvas. There we go. Okay. So I'm not quite sure why that went there. All right. So here is, it's called the canvas. So on the left, we have all these different options. On the top are other functions that are grayed out because we have nothing on the canvas. On the right, we have our layers and we have color sync, which things will pop up there as soon as we add things to our canvas. At the bottom, it says blank canvas. And here's some other grayed out options that will light up when we can do something with these buttons. So the first thing is new, so it will just bring up a new project for you. And this is templates. So if you are making something specific and you just want to see how big to make it or what it will look like in that format, this will allow you to um, add that on there. So anyway, but it won't be saved to your project. So say you want to make a shirt and you can do up here, you can do all canvas types or you can go, you know, down here to fashion and have different kind of t-shirts. Let's do classic t-shirts. And this will show up here what type. So men's short sleeve and you can change, you know, to whatever size you're making or what type and then whatever size. And then that will help you decide how big your design will be. Now I have not figured out how to make these go away and to have nothing on the canvas. So let's go down here and now instead of um, can't blank canvas, it says classic t-shirts. I'm just going to hide that. If you click on that eye, it hides whatever you're wanting. Okay. So then the next button is projects. And here is all kinds of different projects that are already designed. All you got to do is click it. So let's see, let's find the, the rabbit and pretend we want to make a year of a rabbit and you can do make it and it will just go straight to getting cut out and voila. That's that, but we don't want to do this. We'll do cancel. 
Uh, or if you want it on the mat, you want to change it a little bit, you can click customize and then it will show what it's going to cut here. And then here's your different layers now. Um, so when you click on it, it highlights the layer. So that is projects. And I'm just going to delete that. Next we have shapes. So they have free shapes here, just all your basic shapes. This one is a score line. So if you're making a card or something that you want to have the machine score, that's what this is for. Then if you have the Cricut Access subscription, you have access to all these other shapes and you can even search for more. And there is just over 6,000 different images that they consider a shape. So, okay. So then you can filter for free and you got 179 although some of them show Cricut Access, but if it doesn't have this little A here and it says free, then you know you won't need to pay at all. Okay, so let's, um, oh, that was shapes. That's right, shapes. That is shapes. Next we have images. And there are over 250,000 Cricut images. So instead of, it used to just pop up with images, but now you can um, put in a search. You can pick a subject, highlighted categories, different kind of graphics, different themes, and different brands. Hmm, I guess they don't have Star Wars anymore. Let's see what Warner Brothers things they have. Most of these are things that you have to pay for if they're branded. Okay. Oh, here over here they have Harry Potter. Let's see what they've got. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh. Those are so cute. I've never seen these. Super cute. Okay. So that's all the, oh, look at Nearly Headless Nick. Oh, so cute. Okay, so that is images. And I mean, there's there are just, like I said, over 250,000 images. So say you want some sort of animal. Even here is subcategories, birds, dinosaurs, insects, etc. And then there's filters out under that. So if you don't have Cricut access or you don't want to pay for an image, you can click free. And here's a bunch, 321 different animal images that are free. Now these letters are so cute. Cute stuff, so fun to make. All right. Or you can do your stuff that you've bookmarked, uploaded. So I've uploaded quite a few things. And if you just want to draw or cut or print then cut or cut and draw, how many layers they have, what kind of project, what kind of material you're using. Um, some of them have words, so you can choose, you know, Spanish. Nothing is free in Spanish, but or I haven't uploaded anything in Spanish. So here is um, some images that are in Spanish. Um, license content. Let's see if they have any, no, they don't have Star Wars. Do they have Disney? Here's some Disney images. Cute. Sesame Street. Oh, cute. Anyway. Um, who made it? 
and related tags. Okay, so that is images. And then we have text. Oh, oh, I guess you have to pick something. Anyway, I'll show you that in a second. So text, when you click on text, it just brings up this text box with the default, default font of Cricut Sans. And so all of these different things pop up when you click on text. I think I'll have to make a separate video all about text, but you can, um, just a quick, you know, you can uh, click on it to put in a cursor and then type in what word you want and then change the font. There are just so many fonts. 906 fonts for Cricut, plus you can use the ones on your computer, which I have 264. If you have a favorite font, you can bookmark it. So see these, so say, I just love this font and I wanna find it easily. And then it shows up in your bookmarks, um, any fonts that you recently used and so on. So there's lots and lots and lots of different fonts. I get caught up in searching for fonts. Oh, there's even, you can even um, do categories of fonts now. Um, a language, um, you can filter for all of these things as well. So fonts is, a, oh, and I learned recently that you can move this out of the way. So if you have your word here or whatever you're wanting to do, you can, you know, change your font and see how it looks. If you click on a different font, it automatically changes to that font. So that is fonts uh, or text. I'm sorry, text. And there are lots more things you can do with it, but that's a quick, a quick intro to text. And here is phrases. So if you know you just want to say like happy birthday, you can just do happy birthday and then do a search. And there's over 6,000 different happy birthday phrases in here. So say you like this and you can just add it to the canvas and there's that. So that's phrases. Let's get rid of these so that we don't get confused. Then under phrases is editable images. So this is things with um, words. So you can, you can change the words in any of these images or the color or the number, I think. No, I don't know. I have not, this is new to me. I am not as familiar with this. So down here, you can just click cancel if you don't want that. And then if you want to upload your own images or designs or whatever, this is the upload button. So up here, you can do an image or you can do a pattern fill. So like if you had a, you know, a tag shape and you just wanted a pattern in it and you have a pattern file, you can upload that here. So for an image, you can use any of these types of files, JPEG, a GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG, or DFX. So any of those types of files you can upload Patterns is just JPEG, a GIF, a PNG, or a BMP. Um, so what you do here, it shows all the images that you've recently uploaded. And then um, you can look at all of the ones that you've uploaded here. And if you wanna upload an image, you just click on upload image. You put your file here. Um, you can drag and drop or you can browse your computer and it'll pop up. And so, you know, let's see. Uh, let's see. Mm, 
Okay, here's a photo. So it's a JPEG, so I can do it. And wow, that's large. So here it is. And um, you can select your image type if it's just a simple, real simple thing. I always just use complex, and that way I know it'll be upload to the best um, one it can be. So then click continue. And if you want, you can remove your background, which is pretty cool. So say I don't, I don't want that background. It's taken a minute. So it looks like it's just removing certain colors. Okay, and if you don't like that, then you can just click this back arrow button and it will undo all your changes. Um, so you can do it by yourself or here's automatic. Let's see what it shows with automatic, what it considers background. Oh, that did a pretty good job. Okay, so if you don't like that, you can revert and it will go back to how it was. If there's just like a certain thing that you don't want, um, you can select it. So say you don't, I don't want this. And it deletes that, okay? Or if you want to erase, and you can make your eraser size, see that's really tiny, or you can make it bigger. So if there's a bunch that you want to erase, so say you don't want Spaceship Earth, you can erase Spaceship Earth, but why would you want to do that? Anyway, um, or you can, and you can restore, um, so this background, I don't know why. There we go. Okay. And then once it looks how you want it, you can preview the cut image. So if you want to see what it will look like when it will cut, it'll just cut out a rectangle. Hide cut image. And then you can do apply and continue when you're happy with how it looks. And so um, if you just want to upload it as a cut image, that's this one. If you want to do a print then cut image, that will be this one. So you'll want to make sure you click on that so that it's green around it. And then you can change your um, name and put in a tag. So like Disney and Epcot uh, Sisters or something like that. You can add it to a collection. Um, I have birthday cards and Christmas, or you can create a new collection of, let's see, Disney, and do create, okay? And then you just click upload. Okay, it can't, it can't do it. I'm saying something about my, I don't know. I don't know why it can't, but it doesn't matter because I don't necessarily want to. So let's do back. Plus I noticed one more thing up here is a crop. So you can crop. So say you don't want, let's see, how do you crop? Oh, so you just fill what you really want and it will, and it can crop. So like that. If you don't like that, you can go back to how it was. Anyway, okay. So that is upload. And the last thing is monogram, which I also am not familiar with because this is new. It's in beta, which means they're just testing it out. Up here, I did notice you can put in your own initials or whatever initials you're using. 
so you can get the idea of what it looks like. So here's classic. Um, and there's different text styles you can choose. And um, so you can do modern, elegant, handwritten, vintage. And there's also um, shapes that you can put them in. Um, and that's that. You can make it be a cut or cut and draw. Let's see, there was some that were writing, handwritten. Um, let's see, this one might be able to draw. Well, cut and draw. So that's these. You can cut and draw. Put it in a shape and it can cut and draw. Anyway, that is the monogram maker. So what happens when you add to Canvas? This is, like I said, is new to me. So then let's see what it does. Okay, so it's automatically on there. You don't need to do anything else to it. That's that. That's kind of nice. So if you want to make monograms for things. So that is your basic left-hand side of what all this stuff is. I will go, I think I will probably do quite a few more videos and go a little bit more in depth, especially with the images and the text and the upload. So that does it for now. So stay tuned for more videos and thanks for watching. Bye.